for this exercise 9 given sine of theta is 3 fourths and knowing that theta it is in quadrant 1 <clears throat> why do you know do you have to know this we have to know this because remember let's even put in here when you have the sine This is a cosine, this is a sine, and this would be the tangent. Okay, the arrows. Like this, like this, like this. And this is the tangent. Sine, cosine. Well, for instance, if you have this angle in here, Let's make it blue in here, this angle. <clears throat> well, this is going to be the sine, <clears throat> this is going to be the cosine, and this is going to be the tangent of this angle. But look, when you say that the sine it is a certain value, <clears throat> we can go two ways because the sine can be this angle and also this angle plus 90 degrees in here so we have two possible ways that's why they are saying wherever theta, theta three-fourths it could be from an angle of smaller than 90 degrees or an angle between 90 and 180 degrees both angles would make a sign of three-fourths but because theta it is in the first quadrant it is in here therefore we know that the theta just by doing that we just know that theta oh it's like this right sorry theta must be bigger than zero and smaller than 90 degrees and why is that <clears throat> let's already take this op the opportunity to draw the triangle and with that <clears throat> let's make it theta and let's put everybody here <clears throat> the sine of theta it is three fourths so sine opposite okay like over hypotenuse three-fourths <clears throat> well oh let's just take the opportunity and then somebody remember yes i know this is the magical triangle three four five no it can't be why because three four five to be five this would be the five but the five must be the hypotenuse the hypotenuse is this one so this is not the five okay so this is uh let's use pythagoras four square it's equals 9 squared plus this one squared well we have 16 here we have 9 right so this must be square root of 7 okay well from this what do we get we have the sine of theta we have the cosine of theta and the tangent of theta <coughs> Well, in the first quadrant, everybody is positive. Agree? <clears throat> sine positive, cosine positive, and so everything is positive. We don't have to worry about anything. The sine, it is three-fourths. The cosine, it is the square root of seven divided by four. And the tangent of theta, it is three over square root of seven. Okay? If you just wanted to write, you can just write. We just multiply by square root of seven, down and up, and then we get three is square root of seven divided by seven. Because sometimes we are not interested about using square roots in the denominator. But so far, not, not, let's not worry with that. Let's just do the, the math. Just going in here. Remember, we're trying to get sine of two theta. 
<clears throat> and if we just see sine of two theta in here, this one, sine of two theta, it is two sine, just write down here, sine two theta, it is just two sine theta, cosine theta. Okay, just that. Then we just come back in here. <clears throat> That's what we just. Uh, I'm go always going to try always to show the trigonometric identity. So every time we just uh, have the chance to see it more and more and more. Okay, now just plug in the numbers. It's not very difficult. Two times sine of theta, three fourths. Cosine of theta, square root of seven divided by four. Okay, this cancel with this one, this has a 2, 1, so in the end what do we have? We have 3 square root of 7 divided by 8, okay, just that, Not, nothing more than this. Now B, the B, um, it is cosine of 2 theta, this is theta okay cosine of 2 theta let's go again to see what are we going to use <coughs> cosine of 2 theta well we could use this one or this one I'm going to stay with this one because I just um, because in here I have to square the cosine and the sine uh, I don't want to do this I just want to square the cosine and just solve it so I'm going to write cosine of 2 theta it is 2 cosine squared of theta minus 1 okay I'm going to use this relationship in here okay let's get back to the paper okay now 2 times what is cosine cosine squared of theta <clears throat> seven fourths okay squared minus one this is what <clears throat> two times seven divided by sixteen minus one okay yes seven sixteen yes now <clears throat> what is going to be this is fourteen and this is minus sixteen so this is a minus two over 16 which it is minus 1 eighth okay just that and now for the last one it is a tangent right yes tangent of 2 theta <clears throat> again let's go there let's see the tangent of 2 theta is going to be Two tangents of theta divided by one minus tangent squared of theta. Okay, nothing else than this. We just have to plug in the numbers. Just that. Two. The tangent of theta. It is three over square root of seven. 1 minus, <laughs> sorry, 3 over square roots. Okay? Yeah, this one I'm going to do straight on. Okay, so this is going to be, because I wanted to show, I want to show something here. 6 over square root of 7, and down here it is going to be what? 9, and this is going to be a square root of 7 no I mean just 7 right so it's going to be 9 over 7 9 over 7 <clears throat> so 7 minus 9 this is going to be negative 2 over 7 okay so how do you solve this I usually do this this is 6 over square root of 7 times I'm going to this negative I'm going to be in front in here and when you just move the denominator, the denominator fraction to the numerator, okay, when you just t take this fraction here and move up in the upper part, 
we just revert. Instead of being two sevenths, it is going to be seven halves. Just that. Uh, we can just cancel. This is a three, okay? And so the answer in here, not yet because uh, this I'm I'm not going to multiply yet. Three times seven. You're going to see why divided by square root of seven, right? This is what we are left with. Three times seven. <clears throat> We usually don't leave square roots in the denominator, okay? It is not nice. And this one is going to cancel, okay? And in the end, it is just negative 3 square root of 7, okay? So the answers are this one, this one, and this one. Let's do something just to check, okay? I'm going to make this as a D because the numbers are very simple. So let's check if we got it everything right. Well, if we did it everything correct, then sine of 2 theta divided by the cosine of 2 theta must be the tangent of 2 theta, right? Again, sine of... I'm just going to substitute values. 3 square root of 7 divided by 8 divided by... This is a sine, right? Divided by the cosine of theta minus 1 eighth. Well, let's see what is this. This is 3 square root of 7 over 8 this negative I'm going to put already in front in here. Remember, when we just take this fraction at the denominator and move it upstairs, we are just going to switch one eighth, it is going to be eight over one. Where is my pen? Cancel, cancel. This is minus three square root of seven. And it is the same. Let's be like this. This is nothing else than the tangent of 2 theta. Okay, so everything is correct. Okay, we're just checking the exercise.